We're on your side with tonight's Carolina camera. Now, if you're at all squeamish, tonight's story may not be for you, but don't turn away because you're about to meet a man who wants you to enjoy being scared. He's a movie maker, and he's got a story that is sure to please horror fans filmed right here in the Carolinas. John Carter and photographer Greg Simpson take us to Catawba County. Jeremy Little has a passion. I've always loved movies and television. Uh, I grew up watching everything, from, you know, Good Times and Archie Bunker. I, I just always loved watching television and movies and stuff. And that passion eventually turned into something tangible when he was in the Army. It started really when I was in Iraq. I was a real big Sopranos fan. And I was just obsessed with that show, man. And I just, you know, I just, I, I wrote my first little story called, uh, titled The Mutt. And remember, I tried to submit stuff to HBO and David Chase. Of course, I got ignored. And it started from there, just write my own stories and stuff. That stuff turned into this. You're looking at what may be the best frightening movie that hasn't been made yet. This is In the Matchbox, a short film, not a full-length feature, filmed entirely in Catawba County. It was written and produced by Jeremy, directed by Mike Ray Anderson, and is based on stories his grandmother used to tell. You know, back in the day, Catawba County, right around the Civil War time, had a, had a vampire, a werewolf problem. And yeah, it, we can go in depth about it one day, but yeah, it was, it was a crazy story, and that's, what, that's where my inspiration came from, from the story. My God, you told me. In the Matchbox is about 11 minutes long that Jeremy hopes to make into a full-length film. It's been shown at multiple film festivals around the country and has received numerous accolades and awards. So I put it in film festivals hoping to win and hopefully meet the right investor, the right person, you know, interested in helping us make it a full-length feature. Beyond finding funding for the film, Jeremy hopes to bring more filmmaking to the area. I would like to see the Hickory area maybe support the local Hickory people who's trying to make a movie. I would like to see, um, you know, a, a studio would be nice here. Um, all that would be nice here, but it just, it just, just the main thing is we got to get something done to show them what we can do. So you go on ahead, please. Analyze, professor. Consider that Jeremy and his crew shot in the Matchbox in just one day on a budget of about $1,000. His limited crew and actors consisted of friends and volunteers, including well-known actor James Hawthorne. Imagine what Jeremy could do if he had more. But even if he manages to raise the money to make a full-length feature, Jeremy's not about to go Hollywood. He's big on independent filmmaking. You know, we, 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 we are so original because we got that hungry, we got that, that passion, and not moved by money and greed, and we, we, we want to make a good movie, and a movie that, that's, that's, that'll, that'll pay for another movie and, and pay for another project down the road. And I feel that's why independent film is so strong right now and getting stronger, because of, like I said, passion. You don't know what you messing with, Professor. There's something in the matchbox you don't want to touch. You know, um, it could infect and effect and affect the whole world. You know, if, if, if you know, this is a get out. So yeah, you know, you just, just keep this, you know, look, but don't touch. You know, put, put this in, in, in inside a glass mason jar and put it up and nobody knows about it. Yeah, just, just, just leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Never. Touch. I'm John Carter with the Carolina Camera in Catawba County. It looks like a uh -huh. like dragon claw. Pretty stuff. spooky. If you're interested in learning more about In the Matchbox or other projects Jeremy is working with, you can email him at jeremylittle at yahoo.com. All right.